Hello, and welcome to Cannabis Talk 101, the world's number one source for everything cannabis. My name's Blue, alongside me is Mr. Joe Grande, and you are now tuned in to the greatest cannabis show on the planet. That's right, you guys. Thank you for listening to our podcast. Make sure you check out our website, CannabisTalk101.com. we got so many great articles and blogs on there. Plus, you can click that link to go check out the magazine. Also has a lot of good reading for you right there, and so much great information about cannabis. And give us a call anytime, 1-800-420-1980. Go check out the IG pages at Cannabis Talk 101. Blue is at the number one Christopher Wright. Hello. And I am at Joe Grande 52. And y'all know what time it is in here, right? Dime time. That's right. Think higher with Dime Industries. Find them in California, Arizona, and Oklahoma. Check out the website, dimeindustries.com, or on Instagram, dime.industries. Now, today at the Cannabis Talk 101 campus, our guest is joining us all the way from Florida, mm. Pompano Beach. Is that correct? Pompano Beach. Pompano oh, Beach. Sunny Florida. Yeah, Beautiful. He's the CEO of Hydrenus Inc., a group of private technology owners and technology commercializing companies that partner with leading IP holders and industry insiders to commercialize. Commercialize innovation technologies in major industry sectors. Now, Hydrenus Redbox water treatment technologies have the ability to affect water chemistry and elevate water quality, which is going to help your cannabis, folks. We're going to learn all about that. And they provide to be the critical technologies for scaling hatchery and nursery systems and impacting growth and health metrics. Trials of the technology in Norway and Australia show preliminary efficiencies for disease control in different fish like salmon and tilapia farming segments which i want to hear more about how it affects that and our guest is also a proud graduate of good old pinky up notre dame hello ah, there the notre dame the, he's not rudy but you know he's from notre dame baby and had a 14-year career in the financial industry before dedicating the last 12 years to developing clean water solutions with a cutting edge water technology company please welcome to the campus you guys david and tello in the building yeah Thank you now, for having me, guys. No, David, Appreciate it's it. so cool. Are you born and raised in Florida? Or where are you from? No, I'm originally grew up New York. New oh, York really? Boy, that's right. Nice. So grew up all in the big city of New York. Is that Italian? Are you well, Italian? I started, yeah, well, part Italian, part Spanish, and Bolivian. So nice. I got a little mix in there. So I started out tour in the Brooklyn area, and then slowly moved my way out all the way to the island, and then went on the trip to Florida, and never and that turned was back. It, 2001, nothing to do with the towers. Never looked back. Yeah. No more cold right. weather, man. 2001 was a time. And, and what, what high school did you go to? I went to Chaminade. Nice. Went to Chaminade. Where's that at? That is in Mineola. It's, in, uh, it's an all-boys Catholic high school, so yeah, I've, I've gotten all the all the razz for that. Yeah. But uh, it was it was a good time, great time, uh, great time in my life. Did you play sports? Played some football. Nice. I actually tried out to be Rudy. Nice. Before Rudy was Rudy. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm aging myself now, but okay. I, yeah. was, I was the Rudy before Rudy, except I didn't get to play. And I realized in a week that I wasn't cut out to be a football player. So you were at Notre Dame right after Joe Montana, probably. I was in I was in Notre Dame uh, right after right after they won the title, and right when we were gonna win the title in '93, and then it got stolen away from us from BC. So mm. Boston College stole it from us after we beat Miami. Wow. Oh wow! So yeah, good times there. It was fun time. Best that's time a big of my school. Life. That's a big powerhouse college. It's not like it's, that's why I said it. Like you know, I mean, Notre Dame's a, it's yeah. a big one. Yeah, you had to, uh, I actually had to open a book and learn. You know, it was one of those schools. <laughs> it actually taught you some things. Exactly. It made you successful. Yeah. It gave me the, the cornerstone to start, uh, the, start tools. The, the tools, the tools to succeed in life. Yeah. I always look at guys that go to school like that are people that go to, you know, the elite schools and say, you know what, you have to make something bigger yourself if you go there. <laughs> a lot of pressure. Lot it really pressure. is, yeah, though. And, and it really parents. talented people. Yeah, because you got the pressure. for It's those Ivy League schools like that that make you go, well, fuck, you went to Notre Dame. Like, what are you doing? Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what are you doing with that? So what, what did you do after that? How did you get in the leading up to this? I know it wasn't well, just wide right away this company and, and all these other ventures that you got. Yeah, but. I was actually supposed to be a doctor. And then my senior year, my, my advisor said, you know, if you don't really have a passion to be a doctor, you probably aren't going to like it because HMOs and things are going to affect it. And, and I said, all right, I'm going to take the summer off to think about it. And then my dad said, stop sitting around doing nothing. I want you to go check out what this financial advising stuff is. Always see these ads. Went there, saw the Lambos, saw the Ferraris. I said, you know, that was right after Wall Sign Street. Sign me up, yeah. You see the movie Wall Street, you see these guys yelling and screaming. You said, all right, let me check this out. Got uh, 17 years into that, but always had that that vacant spot in your, you know, in your heart, your true passion to do things. And I was actually born to be an entrepreneur. And then yeah. I realized it. Started my own company then and got got some real perspective on what 
what life is really about. And so, and, and so you went into the water industry. That's right. I, I, one of my cust- one of my clients had a system after one of the hurricanes, and it was a unique solution. He built it himself. I looked for it in the stores, and he said, uh, "Well, look, after the hurricanes, I need something that was easy to use, purify any water source, salt water." I looked at it and said, "Look, you got to make a business out of this." He says, "All right, set me up, hook it up, and let's do it." So once we started it, I was still in the financial industry. I wasn't really. I said, "Hey, it's a good idea. Water's important. Can't sure. go wrong with water." Right? Sure project started and somebody needed some water in Africa so he says I'm not gonna go to Africa you might go in for me and doing this sure no problem go down there and uh, we're sitting there at, at one of these in Cameroon we're in the very rural location in Cameroon and there is this well that went dead they got contaminated not even 20 yards away is salt water unlimited amounts of salt water but they can't drink it we purify the water it's like magic you know they've never seen anything like that it's just desalination system and then this little girl is sitting there and she does, you know, she's shaking her head the whole time. Her dad, he spoke a little bit of English because he's a French speaking country and she didn't want to drink the water. I said, no, here, you know, translate for, her. you know, let me, let me, let me show you. It's safe. Took a little sip of it, showed her it was safe. He's like, no, 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 you don't understand. She's afraid of it because she's never seen, had water she could see through before. And I was, it just, that that was that minute. Wow. Didn't I that see was, that online? That was the minute. Was, yeah. That was an online video, right? That, I've seen that, that was that was the same town about four years four years later. Wow. Four years later, and it was that moment, that aha moment. Came back, turned in my two weeks. I'm out. That's it. I'm doing this full time. Never look back. It's the best experience I've gotten to see places, see the real gratitude in people. We take this, you know we take this this stuff right here. We take this for granted. Yeah. And when you see somebody that literally are fighting for it. They were fighting online for it, fighting in the line to get the water. Wow. Uh, it just gives you a new perspective. So with that perspective, it's what really makes you. Uh, well, you're also really helping people. I mean, these, the some of these countries don't have, you know, clean water. And I'm sure there's diseases and things that come with drinking some of the water that they have to drink because they, they, yeah. they have to get their water, right? You got no choice. You got whatever's available to you. And unfortunately, a lot of these people are just drinking straight river water. They're constantly getting sick all the time, missing, you know, their families are getting sick. People die early, kidney stones, you name it. So if there's an opportunity, it's our obligation. If there's an ability, a technology or a capability to, to help, I just, I'm, I'm part of a group of a large group of people that think it's the obligation. It's a moral obligation. If you can do something about it, you can do it. But then right. now, it's always about how you go about doing it. Everyone talks about how they want to help. Yeah. But how do you actually go and do that? You do, know? How well, not do you only really how you go about doing it, explain what this process is. I mean, I've seen it online, but mm-hmm. I still don't get it exactly. Is it, you know, explain the process for people that are listening. Can anybody use this? Is it something I should hook up to my tap water? Is it only for people that are in foreign countries, third world countries? What is it exactly? It's so the the hydrogenesis group. It's a group of companies that evolved from that technology, which is basic reverse osmosis, but we put it in a very unique package. But from there, what anyone can get access to that. A lot most homes have under sink systems. But what we were able to do is find an additional technology that once the water is clean, pretty much that's all you can do with it, right? But that's not the case. You can actually start extracting the power that's in water. I mean, what happens when you squish one little hydrogen atom? big boom, right? There's a lot of power in there. So once we were able to isolate that and extract the power from that, you can then apply it. And that's what you're talking about with the aquaculture. You're able to infuse this essence of this, this electrical charge in essence, not electricity, but an electrical charge at the cell level to change the way the water behaves, all the things you can do with it. So imagine you got your, your aquaponic system with your cannabis, and now all of a sudden you're able to uptake water faster. You're able to bypass some of the stages of the way it makes energy in the, in the, in the chlorophyll process. Now what happens when you're able to do things faster? It gives you an edge. So you're giving the biology an edge. You're giving anything that this water gets attached to or uses or lives in gets that elevated level of the next level of enhanced water is in essence what we do we take the clean water which we can do then we add that level of enhancement that really puts the edge and that's why these companies are doing what they're doing which is growing fish in a built in a burnt out building in the middle of a inner city you can now have as much food as you want using this technology no discharge 
um, we partnered with some very important people that see the vision as well. So that's so so in 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 a sense, I mean, I, I, are you suggesting or saying that someone that's in a cultivation by using your technology and the water, they will actually produce and harvest more cannabis after that, this break? It's Cannabis Talk on one. We'll be right back. Yes. <laughs> to something special folks when it comes to infused products the flavor you taste should be just as enjoyable as the feeling you experience visit the website loranoils.com we're here with david david blue just asked you a great question about this water system will it create bigger better cannabis what does it do for that grow house that says wow is this something that i can use for my system teddy's just barking for it he loves it he's excited he said, he said, he said yes yes yeah teddy's like yes that actually what you applies do. to animals as well it's a whole nother vertical whole nother story but so if i give the water to my dog it'll absolutely be- yeah there's some interesting data that uh, supports a lot of th- cool things just like the cannabis we're doing some trials right now privately and we've got a lot of information that shows that we're able to assimilate the water faster we're able to change a little bit of the water chemistry, not adding any chemicals or anything to it. Sure. But you're able to make it so the plant can absorb the water easier, and anything that's mixed in the water will get absorbed faster. And there's an additional step in the process by which it makes energy. You can kind of think of it like a turbocharger. You got your regular, then you add a little turbo to it. It makes it run faster, a little bit, a little bit leaner, and that's, that's essentially what we're able to do with any agriculture. In cannabis... Same thing. It does the same process as lettuce, same process as tomatoes. So if you could do it in one, you can do it in the other, and that's what we're going to be doing. And are you guys touching all those agricultural yes. things? And yeah, so we're doing that now. We're we're in the middle of some pretty good relationships to explore that, and we've got some strategic partners that have put a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of capital, a lot of time, and have assimilated the experts because that's what you do. You got to get your experts. Then you got to get the right people that can evaluate it. And then you got to get the capital to do it. So sure. Once you get all that together, results. But the ultimate goal is here to elevate not just uh, one area, but general water, water issues across the board. That's the so, goal. So a lot of people, and, and I you know don't know if this is you know appropriate or inappropriate, but a lot of people, like there's the Kangen water or something like that. Have you heard of that stuff? Like a Kangen, 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 Kangen water. Kangen is water. it something similar to that? Like, cause I, and, and I don't know the, the, you know, very sure. much about it, but I've heard about it. That's funny. Know. I've heard about that too. Like people yeah. have the Kangen systems. It's or Kangen, 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 yeah, whatever. Kangen. It's a good, Kangen's a great system. It's originated in Japan. I believe the original technology and it takes the concept of alkalized or true alkaline water, not this stuff that you add with uh, some of these chemicals, but it, the system is, is a very good system. The scalability is the issue. It has similar effects to what we're doing we do things a little bit differently but on a bigger scale but on a much bigger scale gotcha. so uh it's it's kind of a different way to skin a cat so just you know not that it, sorry i don't yeah want, yeah, you, yeah don't, not, yes, i don't want i don't condone skinning cats yes yes but yes. if you did um but yeah it, it was a metaphor i got it yeah, right. yeah people got it i hope yeah so the 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 whole concept is is to elevate water so they do it in one way we do it slightly differently. It's a more scalable process. It's more industrialized, and that's what we're able to do. Plus, we have additional technologies that you add more synergy to, so they compound the effects. Well, so, so you, are are you a, a proponent of of Kangen water or stuff like that, or is that something that you would use on a regular basis if it was in front of you? You know, things like that. I would use our system, but it's also it works. It's a product that works, and it does it does similar things. So if you have the opportunity to get alkaline water, true alkaline, I'm not talking about yeah. the sodium bicarbonate stuff they put in, true alkaline water. I condone. Uh, the more he- the healthier everyone is, the better everything is going to be. So whatever you have access to for that. Have what do your systems look like? How is it? Is it can somebody have it at their home? Is it only for a, a big industrial area? What are we looking at here? Right now, it's for industrial because that's where the main problems are for food production, for agriculture on the larger scale. So the goal ultimately is to do that, to bring it to your home individually in an affordable way 
that you uh, is user friendly, so you don't have to worry about. It. I mean, how many times do you know that you buy something and it's just complicated to look at how to work it? We want to make it very simple. So the goal is eventually, in some form, alkaline water will be in everyone's homes. I don't wow. know when, how soon, but we're hoping to propagate that faster. But and, and so, so in alkaline water, it just absorbs into our system better. Um, or how does that? What, so alkaline water, in, in, you know, without getting too technical about it, what alkaline water does is it raises the overall body's pH level, and a pH environment is generalized. And thank goodness for some of the research that the Kangen groups have started to propagate it's sure. accurate alkaline water and alkaline environment in your body is 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 not a friendly place for cancers and things that don't belong there so the more alkaline your body and your blood is the better it is for you that's gotcha. the ultimate goal and a lot of chemical reactions that get accentuated it's it's, it's a, a smoother easier more efficient way for your body to run that's an essence. and and is this is this um is there easy ways to to increase your alcohol i mean your ph levels um you know is it the water is that the easiest way to do so because i mean i i don't know how to i guess so i mean it, sure it well think about it it's just simple math what percentage of your body is made out of water so all your cells are pretty much all water so if you're able to infuse something that is going to consume most of your body and it has a better effect or better quality. I think it's 70% water, aren't we? A little bit more. About 75? Seven, yeah, so everyone's got 75 percent. 75, 70, yeah. 66 okay. to 75, depending on what who you talk to. But ultimately, if whatever you consume is going to eventually get and diffuse through your cells. So water in a pure form and an alkaline form helps. And why we chose the aquaculture is because anything that lives in water, which aquaponics is the other thing, so they're constantly living in that water. Fish sure. living in that water have more exposure to the technology. The more exposure you have to it, your body is the biggest, uh, your skin is the biggest cell in your body. So if you were swimming around in water all the time, you'd be constantly absorbing whatever's in there. And that's, these are some of the things that uh, we address. And what is that study that you guys did that I started reading from your guys' site with the mm -hmm. salmon and all this other different type of fish? What have you guys noticed the difference? That's a really cool part that we noticed. At first, we were just trying to make an environment that was healthier for the animal and to help them grow faster and clean the water easier. But what we found was they had better welfare scores. And by that, we mean that they were less stressed out. I thought they were laid off of work when you said welfare scores. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I didn't know fish was laid off work too, geez. Everybody's <laughs> gotta work, man. Yeah. They, the scores were improved and we noticed that they were calmer. They weren't as stressed out. So we, there is a potential effect on the, the, the parasympathetic nervous system, the fight or flight you know, response. Sure. So when they get stressed out, they bump into each other and they scar each other. We found those scores were significantly higher as far as being calmer. So overall, that study showed that in an environment that we provide with our water, the water was cleaner. It didn't have the effect of all the all the contaminants hurting the animals and at the same time they grew a little bit faster so these are things that ultimately if you scale that think about it be a lot protein independence improving the protein capability of the u.s uh instead of having to import most of the things that we do we could just grow it ourselves and control every part of the environment so if we did a controlled tilapia farm, a controlled salmon farm, whatever, pick the cannabis fish, farm. pick the well, cannabis too. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. just on the fish part right now because they live in the water. It's going to be able to grow bigger, faster, happier. I mean, everybody's concerned about happy. You know, this is grass fed this, grass fed that. If it's in a farm of water that's cleaner for you, I would imagine now the fish that you're eating is actually going to be even better for you as well. That is actually one of the results. So our first pilot is in Indiana. It's a farm in the middle of nowhere, and he grows tilapia. And uh, I'm sorry, so barramundi, Asian sea bass. And sure enough, mm. they don't die in transport. They taste better. He's increased his orders. And the control of the water, if you have direct access to measure the water quality and you know exactly what's there, you don't have to ask yourself, where did this animal come from? When we import it, where did it actually originate from? And what were the conditions? Here, you control every part of the water environment, whether it be cannabis, aquaculture, your body, um, anything that you do that involves water. If you control it and know what's in it, you know exactly what the result will be.
How random to go from Wall Street talking financing I know, I know. to fucking water nerd talk. Yeah, well, yeah, like, yeah, dude. He, he wraps his head around it. I love well, you it. Know I love it too. Don't yeah. get me wrong. I'm so into it. Like it makes yeah. sense. It's well, like you know. You you got it. Well, it, I was always a science nerd, and if I if if I was born now, I would I would have been an engineer. But back then, it wasn't cool to be a, a, a you know, if you were into computers or anything like that, it wasn't cool. I I played football instead. But now, yeah, the real rock stars are the engineers. Engineers today. My, the team that we work with, I'm just in awe of all the things that they just solve problems. You give them a problem, they solve it, and they do it so fast, so easily, and uh, it just boggles my mind. I'm, I know this much. They're just exceptional you know, people that just... I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, look at look at what Musk and these guys can sure. do. Sure, yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty unbelievable. You know, uh, you know, I, we're, we're going to go to break, but when we come back, you know, I want to I want to see you know what your thought is in ten years from now, what this is going to look like for people, because ultimately you're looking at something, you know, that you know we we we're not looking at on that massive scale that we we're just talking about mm -hmm. how the you know how it's going to affect. I want to hear what your thoughts are, what that effect might look like. It's mm -hmm. Cannabis Talk One One. We'll be right back up to this yes, break. Sir. We want to work with people that are going to be here for a long time, making pre-rolls, making cartridges, making tinctures, and we want to help them expand and do a great job in the state and be able to deliver on time. But we don't have a minimum. We help everybody. I don't know what you're going to do in the future, so there's no small order or small client because tomorrow you might not be a small farmer. You might be a large farmer. Our biggest thing is we're going to give you red carpet, white glove service. People can get in contact with us at info at bearflagcali.com. The Bear Flag Group, you guys, these are white label partners. they known to be on time and accurate and do quality co-packaging. They have been launching brands in California since 2015. And at the Bear Flag Group, they do what they say they're going to do. Check out their website, bearflaggroup.com. I want to thank everybody around here. Jorge, Marcus, Mondo, my dog, Teddy, just making it happen. You hear him barking in the background. Isaiah, Cassie, Daniel, Diego, Jessica, Cam, Beach Bar, Salar, Ali, Goldie, Brother Pitt, Mark Carnes, Chris. Frankino, Jennifer, Erica, and Elvis. Thank you Thank guys you so guys. much for what you guys you do around here. And David, Blue is asking the projection, imagination, the thought. Because as you started this company, how many years ago now has this been in the works? The first of the companies started back in 20, oh, 2005. Oh, really? Yeah, 2005, six, And then since then has evolved to uh, multiple, multiple companies that are surrounding the water industry. We're focusing on tackling everything. So it's been, it's been a, quite a ride. It's been a, quite a few years. And as you tackle it, like Blue says, 10 years from now, I mean, from when you started to now, you guys are just getting, it sounds like, and I can only imagine, bigger and bigger and newer obstacles to even look at and, and imagine that you didn't imagine at the beginning. That's, uh, that's the vision, the ultimate vision is exactly that, is to evolve. Uh, just just look around, everything that's been going on in the, in society. There, Everyone's got more of a, um, a focus on health, Health is taking more of a, a standpoint, a priority than it was. The millennials have brought in a new evolution of taking care of yourself, taking care of your mind, your body. Health so is the new wealth. That is, that is it, because it is the only thing we have. So what our vision is to help find like-minded people with the same perspective to do and get these technologies, however they look, as long as they get and improve the welfare of people's lives, the speed increasing the efficiency, conserving the resources, using less water, cleaning water that's already used, recycling, all these things are what our companies are designed to tackle because there's no magic bullet. There's not one solution. Real change only happens in incremental steps. Sure. So that's the vision is take those steps, tackle it from multiple angles, divide and conquer. And that's the ultimate goal of the company for the it. next 20, 30, 40 years leaving a legacy That's now, now what kind of you know and, and if if you can speak on this what what does it cost somebody to put it into and i know that's i guess that, that'd be a really broad question because depending on the size of the facility mm -hmm. so many different things but you know let's just say we've got a you know i guess you'd have to go off the gallons uh, you know i don't know <laughs> a fifty thousand square foot facility with you know uh, you know, th three hundred thousand or three thirty thousand. No, sorry, th forty thousand. You know, gallons of water, right? Mm -hmm. How do we, how do we take the forty thousand, you know, you know, gallons of water and then infuse or or put it through Is the something process? Something that connects to the water hose. And, yeah, and how does that process work? Sure. So we just do it exactly that's the best way to do it. Is how many gallons that your water column is. So think of water as a. It, if you have a clean glass of water and you treat it 
it'll stay clean for a long time. But the dirtier the water is, the more treatment you have to give it. So one of our systems, industrial system, is the size of probably, you know, it's it's a, a small washing machine, a washing machine, basically. Okay, yeah. Not, not too big? Si- not too big. Yeah. We, our technology is able to be infused into the water column, so you don't have to run the water. So you're talking about 200,000 gallons per machine in very heavy contaminated fish water or aquaculture water. If you had clean water and you were doing it for something else like aquaponics, now you can do 500,000 What gallons. about just flood and drain? Like just flooding, you know, the flood and drain is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so just a flood and drain system, right? Same same concept? Similar. So we would be able to use a venture, multiple ways of infusing it depending on how fast you're circulating that water. So these aquaculture systems, they get a lot of feces and you know uh, excrement. They have to remove that. And as they're removing that, we infuse the technology so it's constantly able to infuse the the system at a certain rate and the dirtier the water the faster the rate and we have telemetry packages we can control stuff in the middle of uh you know africa or or australia remotely on an ipad so technology ai once again engineers gave us that capability to do so perspective small 200 300 gallon loops wow. of water and even scalable to larger sizes than that and so so your guys's real focus isn't really in the cannabis industry it's more into the sustainable mm-hmm. wealth and health in in other countries and and aquaponic for you know development of uh, fish and agriculture and stuff like that right correct the goal is anything that can that can benefit and has uh, the cap- capability to enhance people's lives so sure you know uh, medicinal whatever so cannabis is the same principle like i said as lettuce tomato it's the same principle if we can grow it faster using perhaps less water less real estate uh and we can recirculate the water and reuse it easier who's going to benefit it's the people the people sure. that use it and consume it Price is there something well. that could be used in a swimming pool as well like when can, like we also like I have a swimming pool at my house. Should I use something like this? Would it be better for my kids? Is it better than that new salt water that you know it's all comfortable yeah. and softer now and feels better on my body? Whatever. It's the funny thing that you say that because that's exactly what we're doing at one of the largest uh, aquarium spaces. I can't say the name just yet officially, but it is one of the largest. So think about it. What do a lot of these the animals- Atlantis? No, it, I'm not no, gonna Long say Beach, that. baby, no, Long I, Beach. I'll be poking around and asking. <laughs> I see you're trying to prod. I'm like, hmm, we, which one? Which one? Okay. We we can do that. We can remove the. So the goal, the ultimate goal here, is removing chlorine or li- reducing significantly the amount of chlorine that you need because that's all it is is a disinfectant. So if we're able to do that in a non-chemical way, that you can produce on site without having to ship anything. I mean, that's a huge advantage. So the goal is ultimately to go there. Correct. So Uh, because then um, a hotel or whatever mm -hmm. that has huge pools, huge whatever, your Mm -hmm. own home, you're not wasting or utilizing your money on, like you said, the chemicals that you're going to put in your pool. You could use a system like this and would it get rid of all those chemicals anyways and not have to use those? Perhaps run your whole house? Absolutely. You can run, the system is designed to do exactly that. We're removing all the contaminants from dirty, filthy aquaculture water with densities that you wouldn't believe how many fish they put in there. Now, swimming pool is cakewalk for this. So the goal would be easily to do that. It's a question of adopting it. The adopt, you know, you have to, you have to educate the consumers. It's a process and to adopt new technology takes some time. It's not an overnight thing. So if you do it in large scale, and just miniaturize it slowly but surely, it'll get there. You will be swimming in a chlorine-free, if you like the salt water pools are good, I'm not saying they're not, but if you want pure water and you don't wanna put any chemicals in there and swim in something that's pure without bacteria and viruses, you will be swimming in that probably in the next, within the next 10 years. Really? Uh, yeah. Wow. And, and it may not be us, what, it may not be us. We want to propagate the tech. So right. it's not us specifically. It's going to be someone who... You're advancing it, letting companies yeah, know, hey, exactly. start doing this because yeah. this is what's out there, everybody. Bingo. Bingo. We're not the only fish in the pond. It's, you know what I mean? More people exactly. can do it. That's good. Exactly. And, and let, let me ask you this. Um, what does something like this cost? Is that And, and is, is it ready for market? Are you guys already in market? Mm-hmm. Ready? Yeah. What's something like this run? Where's, so dep- let's put it this way. It's going to cost Based you on- less than what you're doing now because if it didn't cost less than what you're doing now, why would you buy it? Right. So the goal of our our vision with the strategy is it's got to be at least two of the following four. It's either got to be cheaper, better, faster, safer. If you're not at least two of those, 
you're not going to commercialize your tech. Well, you have to be either less expensive than somebody else, or you have to be so much better than they are. But imagine if you're able to have all four, the, the, the four pillars all supporting you, better, cheaper, faster, safer. Love it. That's what we are attacking first as our lowest quote unquote hanging fruit is to find the ones that we can do that. And if you do that, it gets adopted like this, just like it did at this large uh, aquarium company sure. and the aquaculture industry, publicly traded, et cetera. And adopting is the hardest part. There's so much cool tech that would blow your mind that's out there, but it'll never see the light of day because you don't have the capability to make it adoptable. Are you guys a public company? No, we're not. Oh, we're, you're private. I, we were gonna stay private. I came from the financial industry for 17 years and I prefer to stay private. Sure. Yeah, you can and, make your own decisions better that way. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and, and let me ask you, you know, the, the, the cost to go into like a home, right? Like mm -hmm. a, the everyday home. So, so, you know, like I've converted the house to the salt water, I think it is, or not salt water. It's whatever the purifier is. Soft water. Soft, soft water. water. Soft water. <laughs> That's correct. The soft water. Is, so essentially you're, you're going to provide that as well for the homes. Mm -hmm. And then, and then for the, you know, the, obviously the, like you said, the uh, agricultural industry, but, but for now, are you guys targeting the homes is, is, is you know, is that the main you it's uh, one of you guys have been reading my diary or my notebook something because we just we just signed on to do a pilot with high-end homes in a project that is in las vegas in that area and these are very large so they take their health very seriously in these particular neighborhood that we're working in and they're going to put the system which is a, lar a, a smaller version of what we have and they're going to treat their whole house with it so they're showering in it they're bathing in it they're drinking in it their pool is in it everything they touch is going to be a highly alkaline environment. And that has already been clinically proven to show increase in health, period. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. yeah. I want one at the house too. It's, it sounds yeah. fantastic. And the website, what is the website? It's hydrenesis, hydrenesis.com. And yeah. that's H-Y-D, excuse me, H-Y-R-D-E-N. Nope. It's H-Y-D-R-E-N-E-S-I-S. -E -E -S. That so one more time? H-Y-D-R-E-N-E-S-I-S. -E -E -S. So. Thank you. I didn't have my glasses on and I was really yeah. get all blind over here. Yeah, don't mess that up, bro. <laughs> I, I really like everything that you're saying, David, because, you know, that alkaline water, all this stuff, it's not the new fad and tre trend, even though it has come out recently as like, oh my goodness, this is, it's almost like the new kale, so to speak, but it's a vegetable that really helps you out and it's good for you. This stuff is like you said, it's clinically proven. Mm -hmm. It's not just some bullshit of, oh, look at this. Yeah. To see now and have anecdotal and real proof evidence as well as the fish growing what have you exactly seen from the cannabis? Is it the, the bigger bud, just faster growing? Like what more anecdotally on this scale for a grower, a, a owner of what Lowell Farms well, is listening this going <laughs> like, okay, look at this grow house we have. If we had a system like this, is it going to mess with us to where my growers aren't going to understand it so quick because we know what we're doing with our water. Mm -hmm. How is it going to mess I, with I, and, and let me take a quick shot at this. I sure. think that it's going to cost you less nutrients the, the price of your nutrient level is going to go down. I think you'll get a better quality, right? Because you, you won't have to mix so much with it to get the pH levels right, if I'm not correct. That is actually one of the benefits. Okay, yeah. continue. Yeah. You do well, yeah, I, I'm, 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 to, yeah uh, I'm a little geeky too. When it yeah, comes well, to yeah, that. that makes sense. <laughs> I like this. Yeah, but but I, I mean, what I would assume is... Wouldn't that, have to yeah. add as much salt and all the yeah, other bullshit you're, you're, you're too. Yeah, gonna, you're going to get a, a, a better quality, a cleaner uh, plant, and then you're gonna it's going to be easier to mix your, your products so you'll save money on nutrients and all that other stuff. So I'm, I'm sure you could articulate it better. That's what, that's the goal is to reduce your amount of nutrients that you're using also to increase the speed. So your, your, the plant or anything that's alive, all it does is it takes some form of something and it oxidizes it and it makes a little, a little molecule of a, a little electron. That's all it does. It's all we do. Yeah. We are just one big battery. And if we are able to make that happen faster or introduce that little piece into the system itself, now you're able to speed up that process. So the goal here is to change also the, the uh, if you want to get geeky a little bit, 
you're talking about the the uh, the capability of the water to become Monoc uh, molecular structure what is it called this uh, mo molecular structure, molecular structure so the, the, the 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 and kangan has been putting a, a good amount of information out there so they call it micro clustering for lack of a better term you're just changing the surface tension you're making the you know, when you put a drop on there, it's got that bubble, you know, that's surface tension that keeps the water molecules from just spreading out across the table. So if you're able to make that easier for the plant to absorb and lift into its roots, into the bud, into the, into the leaves, it's going to make its job easier to lift that water up. Every small percentage that you increase that ability is going to be time less spent growing or trying to do other processes so your harvest will come faster that's the that's it so we're going to be releasing some information over the next several months and we have a couple of teams working on that too so outdoors is a little bit more advantage because indoors i mean this this the technologies have come so far and so precise and the ability to to hone in on every little detail of the of the greenhouses it's it's very hard to increase like the level you, know, you guys have stuff that uh, just boggles my mind. I went, visited a couple of farms, and you're talk, talking on a level uh, elite athlete trying to get better. It's very hard to get that extra edge. But uh, think about think about the pests that bother the outdoor, you know, cannabis industry. Imagine being able to eliminate the pests without using chemicals. Wow, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, I'd have a lot of friends for you. Well, yeah, yeah, got some talking to do. That. We, we, yeah, we'd have some. That's great yeah, because you're right. Think about that. You don't have to use that pesticide. Oh, dude, that, oh, 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 that, not, not completely no, removed, but no. not as much. But but it's it, cool. it, yeah. well, it, it's less desirable for the pest, right? Exactly. Because they don't, they're not flocking to it because the the levels are aren't what they're used to, so they stay away from it, right? I mean, it, it's pretty common sense. But I, and and I, I think you'd have you'd have a massive you know uh that's opportunity exactly and, that's and, exactly and, what happens and not only not only in our space but i mean once you start you know i think this would be even a low-hanging fruit for you this industry but the way the cannabis industry would work i think it would flock into everybody else because mm. they'd be all agriculture yeah but it, but it's yeah. it's probably harder to get into you know strawberries and grapes yeah and yeah on the scale like we can i mean i think cannabis is on that scale of like you know you can get into it prove the concept and then everybody else just you know roll, roll, rolls it out because they're smoking it and they're ingesting it but it's the same thing with food you're eating it for god's sakes you yeah. know what i mean but I mean, that's harder concept. to get into i would say i would think right you it's, know it's the so we have a strategy a model that we use in order to get technology adopted so if you're able to once again you provide information you provide evidence for someone to see that it's either cheaper, better, faster, safer, at least two of those, they're going to try it out. Yeah. And you're not talking about anything that's toxic. There's no controlled substances. There's no, there's no, uh, you know, pharmaceutical involved that you have to worry about and it doesn't hurt to try it. And then once it catches on, that's how, what happened with the bar, the vertical markets that we're, atta that we're attacking right now. What and are the, is there anything with like FDA? Is there anything with the government that's uh, with you guys that has to go oversee it? No, because it is a non-chemical based solution. You're cleaning. You're, you're just taking yeah. what's already out there and 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 rinsing it and cleaning you're it. You're applying the basic principles of chemistry at the most uh, the most simplest level to remove a lot of these contaminants by doing something that is not a. It's the grass. You can transport it. You can do anything you want because, in essence, it is uh, it is pure in its own form for the most part. Wow. I mean, everything's a chemical technically, but we're talking about adding different types of toxic chemicals that you can overdose on. And you have different sizes of, of your machines, right? Like mm -hmm. you you have the the washing know, machine, machine size, size yeah. you have a more commercial size, mm -hmm. and then you, you, you're working on possibly having one for the home. That Correct. Be, but the washing machine size would be the first one for the home. No, right? that one, that one's, that could treat 30, 40 homes. Go, oh, wow. Yeah. Really? That yeah. could treat so the, the machine, basically, it's, 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 it's very small. And the, the real, see, the difficult part isn't so much the technology it's making the technology work in the environment so you know how many things will go wrong and how long it took for that company that makes the softeners in your home it took them a long time to get that just right so that sure. they only have to come in every six months or three months and, and change something yeah. it takes a long time so the ability to make the technology work in that environment that's the hard part it's not the tech itself because the technology that we have is applicable in over uh, 120 different industries, but making it work in that environment, that's the hard part, and it's all different. So cannabis is different in their process than, let's say, lettuce, than let's say what we're doing with the aquaculture. So making it work 
in the environment. Sure. That's the hard part. Well, listen, I mean, is there anything that we forgot that we that we discussed here that you might want to bring up before we let you get on out of here? Well, I think the, one of the other biggest things that's a problem that people don't, people don't realize is, is the al algal. So we have other solutions that don't just infuse this technology, but we have a way to eliminate the problem of algae in large. We're talking billions with a B wow. of water. So there's areas. Think about it. You know, I, I'm from Florida, so if you're not from Florida, you know very well about the blue-green algae blooms that happen uh, every, every summer. And the blue and, people. And the blue people. That's right. Those we are, just looked him up. He just showed me. Chris Franquito showed me. We're talking about this guy, right? And then you showed me the blue people. I think, <laughs> I think he did show me that because I'm of this blue. conversation. I'm blue. No, not you. Like, there's little people that are blue. Yeah. It's crazy. I've never so, seen it. Yeah, we're able, so the, we're able to control algae. Algae is a very big problem. It's a byproduct of contamination and, and uh, nitrogen. You have a lot of the fertilizers. So imagine able to remove algae without the use of any chemicals. Wow. That's another technology that we have that is being used by this other group and some other large. Is that would just be filt filtering through no. the just filtering? No, the there's no mechanical equipment involved. It's a, it's a it's a specific application that you put into the water treatment once a month or once every couple of weeks, depending on the water. And it's it. no time. harmful, not harmful to anything that's in the water, fish, plants, just the algae, because wow. you're not killing them. You're just out competing their food. Sir, you're, you're eating the food before they do. Ah. So they starve to death and there's no adaptation for starvation. Yeah, like man. a lot of these chemicals that people add, eventually the animals and the organisms adapt and then they become immune like bacteria, like, uh, you know, antibiotic immune viruses and bacteria that are out there. Wow. So this is crazy, man. I, I love this nerd <laughs> talk like this. It's, I love a, it. it's a different style. Uh, the boy from Notre Dame, I want to do the high five with you just to see if uh, what you're about internally and see what kind of cannabis relationship you really have. David, how old were you the first time you smoked cannabis and where'd you get it from? No comment. No, I, uh, no, I was about to say, he's about to say no great. comment all the way through. No, <laughs> yeah. he's going to be. No, no, I, no, I, no, I uh, New in, Yorker. Yeah, I, I tried to, it doesn't work for me, man. I've tried everything. Yeah. It, uh, it makes me very, it just makes me very hungry and very sleepy, but uh, it works for that. So when I want to relax, I've tried some of the CBD products to sleep. Fantastic. So yeah. I was, first time actually was in college, believe it or not. I was actually a good Catholic boy. Yeah, that's good. Nothing Didn't wrong start with that. drinking until I was in college. No way. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That really worked for you then, that Catholic school. It does. Because they're yeah. going to hit you with a ruler. I didn't tell you what happened after I graduated college, but that's a different story. <laughs> well, at least it was started in college. Well, question exactly. number two, what's your favorite way to use it? CBDs? The CBD. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I could just imagine that would be yeah. the answer because you, yeah. like, you said yeah, it. Yeah. It works. For, yeah. It works. It relaxes me. And puts me to sleep. So where's the craziest place you ever did use cannabis? The craziest place was, uh, it was actually on one of the spring breaks that after I graduated, just by happened, happened to be on a trip, they were having spring break. They thought I was, I said, it was Notre Dame. Hey, you know, I still look young enough, obviously, at that point. Went upstairs. Hey, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'm down. Yeah. I'm That's down. Fun. So I was Spring break's a good place. Panama City, in, in a balcony in Panama City. Panama Beach. City. Yeah. Yeah. Beach. Question number four of the high five, what's your go-to munchie after you got high in Panama oh. Beach? <laughs> oh, that, we were, it was the pizza. It was the only thing that was open. Yeah, pizza. The pizza. Just went to town on the you pepperoni pizza. What kind of pe pepperoni? pepperoni? Yeah, I was pizza. just going to ask yeah, what kind of, oh yeah, yeah pepperoni That's pizza. Town. Well, David, the CEO of Hydrenis Inc., if you could smoke cannabis with anyone, dead, dead or alive, or alive who would it be and why? Wow, that's a good one. Um, I would have to say it would be one of my heroes, Mr. Nikola Tesla. Yes, Tesla. Nikola yeah, Tesla. We love that one. We love that one. Because that guy's got a mind, and I'm sure that once you get him just in the right state of mind, all those ideas will flow, and you'll try to the best to catch up you'll start a understand. new company i'm sure that's right yeah <laughs> that's right yeah. well dude your company sounds amazing i'm so happy we connected with you thank you so much for hooking this up because i think the industry and the world could utilize a product like you guys have, have spent 14 years yeah. creating and making and after your 17 year career in your other world to come into this world and do this is uh it's truly amazing to learn that about you man well, I appreciate the opportunity. It's 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 guy, you know, it's opportunities like this to kind of bring awareness to the fact that we do need to improve all of our resources. And if there's a way to do it, and we have an opportunity, 
we just want to be part of that. No. Well, when I heard about your company through our colleague that works with you, mm-hmm. I, I was like, I like what she was telling me about this. And uh, let's just interview them and figure out more what, yeah, what this we, can we do. We appreciate you bringing it to the industry. Now, you know, I think maybe you should sit with some of our guys, you know, perhaps while you're here, because I know you're not from out of town, you're from out of town. But, you know, I would sit with them and, and see how we can get it in their hands. Because, I mean, you know, like even if you just look at like some of these facilities and, mm-hmm. and, and I think we have a very wide you know, broad listener base too. I think it might be very um, beneficial for us and, and, and our people to, to be able to get access to this. Sure. Uh, it's very important that, you know, we, we educate ourselves, get better quality water, you know, learn how to balance out our pH levels. I mean, I, I you know, like you said. And grow it, better products all together. Yeah. It's it. efficiency. It. Make it make it easier and accessible for people. That's yeah. It. So Looking there it forward is. To it. We appreciate you on the show. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, there it is, guys. It's Cannabis Talk 101. And remember this, if no one else loves you, we we do. do.